What if I told you that AI can change the way you work in After Effects? I'm gonna show you how to use AI to write expressions in After Effects. This is gonna help your animations go from basic to believable. No longer do you have to be scared of using expressions in After Effects. So for this, I'll be using ChatGPT 3.5 as well as Google Bar Gemini Pro. Which one's better at writing After Effects expressions? Let's find out. So given the theme of AI for After Effects, I decided to generate some cute little monsters for my animation challenge using Firefly 2.0. If you wanna learn more about Firefly 2.0, check out my other video link below. So here's the options that I came back with. With a little tweaking using Photoshop's generative fill, I did some layer work and came up with these two compositions. Now my goal for the expressions will be for AI to give me the scripts for making this balloon float naturally in the air and for making this little creature swing naturally back and forth. So let's jump to ChatGPT and type in our prompt. Act as an After Effects expression coder. Can you create an expression for the rotation parameter to make a balloon naturally floating in the air? Okay, so it comes right back with some nice code and details for us. Let's try it out. So I'll copy this code and jump back to After Effects. Now before we paste our code, I'm gonna tweak the balloon layer by adjusting my anchor point using the pan behind anchor point tool. And I'll make sure my anchor point is right where the hand meets the balloon. Now with my balloon layer still selected, I'll press R to reveal my rotation parameter and option click on a stopwatch to reveal the expression data. And here's where I'll paste my code. And immediately we get an error saying expression result must be of dimension one, not three. Now I'm just gonna go back to ChatGPT and give AI that response to see if it could tweak the code. And sure enough, it did. It gave me a new code. I'll paste it in there. And it works flawlessly exactly as I'd hoped. Now let's use the same prompt and utilize Google Bar Gemini Pro and see if it can get it right on the first try. So here's their response. The code is much shorter and it's just a wiggle expression, but let's see how it looks. I'll paste it in there. It looks a little weird, definitely not natural. Now the good thing about Google Bar Gemini Pro is that it generates three drafts for you. So I'll try one of the other ones to see if they're any better. A little better, but still looks unnatural. And after trying the third one that doesn't even work, I asked Google Bard a couple follow-up questions to try and get it right, but it seemed like it just got worse and worse. Let's try a different expression and see if Bard can get this one right. Act as an After Effects coding expert and provide me with an expression that will make a rope look like it's swinging back and forth naturally, slowing down as momentum slows. Now it comes back with some nice code. Let's try this one in our alternate composition. I'll make sure my anchor point is right where the rope meets the top of the comp, and I'll paste my code as a rotation expression. And another error. After trying a few more times, it was clear that Bard was not familiar enough with AE expressions, or at least the two that I was trying. So I tried the same prompt in ChatGPT, and it gave me a similar code, but this time the code worked right away. I just needed to tweak the parameters it gave me for the amplitude, frequency, and decay, and it came out exactly as I'd hoped. So the clear winner for generating After Effects expressions is ChatGPT. Thanks for watching.